The Tao Te Ching says, Heaven's net is porous, but nothing escapes. This phrase metaphorically describes how heaven treats everyone fairly, rewarding those who do good and punishing those who do evil. Though it may seem unjust at the time, in the end evil will not be spared. A person who has done evil can never escape the punishment of heaven. China has a rich history of moral philosophy, martial arts, acupuncture and traditional medicine. A great number of historical figures who contributed to shaping Chinese history were practitioners of cultivation exercises. Cultivation is a word used to describe the improvement and uplifting of the body, mind and spirit through effort on the part of the practitioner. In fact, cultivation of moral character was a prerequisite for students of any serious study in ancient China and cultivate oneself, put family in order, govern the state and pacify the world has been a motto for intellectuals for generations. As a result, the ethical values derived from the teachings of cultivation exercises have played an essential role in establishing and maintaining social morality. In 1992, Falun Gong, also known as Falun Dafa, was introduced to the public. It is an ancient form of meditation and cultivation practice. It combines five slow and gentle exercises with moral teachings centered on the principles of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. Buddhist in nature, Falun Gong brings together meditation, energy exercises and moral teachings as a means to cultivate the mind and body. It has brought better health and inner peace to millions around the world. Falun Gong emphasizes the cultivation of one's mind, putting others before oneself, having compassion for others, and applying the practice's moral principles of truthfulness, compassion and forbearance to all situations and circumstances. Falun Gong practitioners can attain true wisdom, physical health, and a serene state of mind by assimilating to these ideals. Despite the huge mind and body benefits Falun Gong has brought to individuals, families, and society, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, began a crackdown on the practice and has been working to suppress it since July 1999. A large number of practitioners have been detained, imprisoned, and tortured for their beliefs. This continues today. The China Tribunal, an independent people's tribunal, concluded that the CCP has been harvesting organs from live Falun Gong practitioners in China for years, and it continues unabated today. 21 years of this brutal and inhumane persecution of Falun Gong practitioners is far too long. It must end. Despite everything, the pandemic provides us with an opportunity to reflect on ourselves. Renowned human rights lawyer David Mattis said, We are suffering the consequences now of turning a blind eye to organ transplant abuse. He suggests that the lesson here is that people should not tolerate and ignore human rights violations. The choice to stand up for justice and distance ourselves from the CCP in our hearts is the correct moral choice.